Mechanical hydraulic fluid. We can make this creep vine seed cluster gel sac easily. Easily. So you want me to make this and then stick it here and then we'll be able to cross? Okay, I got you. I got you. Not hard. All I gotta do is go back home. Unfortunately, I didn't bring any of those things with me. We might be able to find some creep vines nearby because I do remember seeing some as we were coming here. Oh, let's jump in the water here. Maybe we're not able to reach the center before we build the bridge. Yeah, okay. Should I leave right now then? I feel like there might be more. Oh, you know what? Maybe let's have a look around here. I want to make the snow fox too. That's the one fragment we got at Marguerite's. But we haven't been able to find those fragments anywhere, basically. All Terra facility beacon detected nearby. Unique identifier. Fire Robotics Center. Okay, good thing you have a beacon because I forgot to bring beacons with me. We gonna be cool? I hope so. Oh! Hey, hey! What? Oh! Oh! I'm... Hold on. I'm gonna go offload my stuff first because we have a full inventory. Just hold on. Oh. Our searches have been useful, but ultimately I have no definitive evidence as to the fate of my people. The network I hoped to rejoin may no longer exist. I cannot feel it. There could be a million reasons for that. Like, what if the network had a system update? They're on version 2001.4 and you're still on version 14.2. That would make me incompatible. How would I even begin to plan my upgrades? Okay. That's not what I meant. Bad example. You still know how to get home? Yes. So don't give up. Go there, see for yourself what happened. You are expressing optimism, but it is not supported by probability. Hope isn't based on statistics. It's born from a drive for something better. There's a poem Sam loved. Hope is human. Hope is, uh, oh, oh right. Hope is the the thing with feathers. This does not match any fauna designation I can find in your PDA. <laughs> it's a line from a 19th century Earth author. Emily something. Hope is the thing with feathers that perches in the soul and sings the tune without the words and never stops at all. I promise we'll get answers one way or another, Ellen. Adding hope to your database. Oh, We kind of got off on the wrong foot. I feel like he was sort of manipulating me into giving him a vessel, my body. But Robin is fairly... she's a pretty nice girl because she's really trying to help him now. Even though her main goal of coming here was really just to find out what happened to her sister, she doesn't have to do any of this. Well, I guess she does because otherwise he's not going to get out of our head. <laughs> I'll put this back here now. Oh, we do have a quantum locker, so let's not forget about that. That's some space. That's free space, you know? Free space. In fact, maybe I should be bringing some, like, important tools. Yeah, bring the beacons. Bring a few beacons and the tools with me here so I don't have to, like, walk back and stuff. Pengjack. <laughs> Pengjack. It's just kind of annoying because we have to go outside to use it. And because Alan took so long in talking, it is now nighttime! Oh, this is gonna make it really hard to um, keep exploring. Yeah, I'll throw a few in here. The food should be here. All of the food should be here. Even more than what I have here. No, 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 no. Um, I don't think we need this right now. We're on land right now. Yeah? I think we're okay for the time being. Mm-hmm. Okay. Oh! 
Hope is an animal of unknown origin. According to Robin and a poet named Emily Dickinson, it is described as having feathers. My database found the poem Robin was talking about. So she read the first part. And the sweetest in the yell is heard, and sore must be the storm that could abash the little bird that kept so many warm. I've heard it in the chillest land and on the strangest sea, yet never in extremity. It asked a crumb of me. The presence of hope seems to inspire humans to persevere in the face of adversity. Perhaps humans keep a hope with them at all times. From this notation, hope appears to be a hardy avian creature. It is capable of surviving at sea and in cold climates. Having kept so many warm, hope might be observed to produce exothermic chemical reactions. Assessment Find and maintain hope. Aww. Do you feel sad though, Alan? Does it make you sad that you can't join the network? Because I definitely think that's how Robin interpreted it. But is that how you really feel? Because if you feel sadness, then you can definitely feel hope. Ooh, I'm not so sure about exploring in this kind of condition. But we gotta. If we're lucky, maybe we'll even see the Northern Lights again. So the bridge is not related to the Fire Robotics area. Okay, we went this way last time. There's another way here. I think. Yeah, uh, it's visibility is very, very poor. Oh yeah. What is that red stuff? A plant? We're here, we're here. Not the copper mining site. But we're here nonetheless. Frosted sinew tree. We'll read it when we get to a warm place. It's cold here. It's cold and dark. Is that a PDA? That's a PDA. That's the frosted vase plant again. Oh, this is a place for the spy pangling. Did I bring it just now? I was definitely thinking about it, but I left it in my locker, didn't I? Shoot. Hold on. Spy Pangling Log Number 1 The Spy Panglings are creating so many new research opportunities. They're perfect for exploring tight spaces I can't squeeze into, little pockets hiding lots of resources. The Panglings can't carry much, but as an added bonus, the local fauna seem to generally ignore them. My little robot friends are too cute to get destroyed. Yeah, this is one of those stations. Oh, I'm cold. I'm cold. I'm very cold. Geyser. I'm counting on you. You better come up within the next... Oh shoot, there was one there. Come on, buddy. Hypothermia imminent. <laughs> That was close. So let me just confirm, I don't think I brought the spy pangling with me, unfortunately. Oh man, I was even thinking about it too. It's okay, we'll get back to the sea truck. Dangerous weather approaching. Seek shelter. It's a little bit cold here. Maybe let's get inside the robotic center first and we'll go outside when the weather is a little bit better. Oh, goodness. Here. Oh no, it's, oh God. Five robotics. This is where Sam worked. Before she was switched to the outpost though, right? The zero outpost? 
Snow Fox hover pad fragment. The hover pad is a deployable pad no equipped, synthesized. equipped with two articulating arms for rapid Snow Fox assembly and repair. Recharge via magnetic to thermal energy conversion. Most commonly used for land based operations in low to medium gravity. So it's for making a snow fox, okay. And then earlier we saw... What was the one we saw earlier? What was it called? Frosted sinew tree? Is a large plant that collects bits of snow along its thick red stem. Snow is 90% air and can provide insulation, which helps prevent the formation of ice crystals in more vulnerable intersections of the tree. The surface of the snow eventually hardens into a layer of ice, but it still prevents the body of the plant from reaching dangerously cold temperatures. Oh. Blue scrub brush is an unusual plant for this climate. Unlike other plants that manage to thrive in the extreme cold, which typically grow close to the ground and lack leaves to prevent moisture loss, the blue scrub brush is tall with a fur-like leaf. Within the hollow leaves are chambered pores which capture and store the sun's heat. Everyone's got different ways to deal with the cold here. Except for me, all I've got is some food. Which is, you know, it's a way. Yeah, if we see this kind of plaque, then we know we're at the right place. Well, this place is completely wrecked. Just looking at it. Very... <laughs> it's not hard to see that. Hmm. Whatever kind of agreement Sam had with Marguerite, I feel like it led to them destroying everything here. And maybe that's why they're trying to cover it up so badly right now. Oh, jeez. Sam loved working here with her spy pinglings. Do all humans like work? The lucky ones do. Are you lucky? I used to think I was. What made you change your mind? Hey, Sam. Oh, hey there, pangling buddy. <laughs> Hi, Fred. What brings you this way? I was just passing by. Lillian wanted a hand with a deep dive out in the bridges. You know, I think she's right. There is some weird stuff out there. The clicking sound? An SOS. I heard it with my own ears. So you think she's right? There's intelligent life down there? I don't know. I'll leave that to you scientist types. This scientist is more at home with these penglings. But if my sister was here, she'd be all over this. Wait, are you telling me you're not the brains in the family? <laughs> oh, my family has many different brains. Like a... A hydra? Uh, well... <laughs> Oh, yeah, actually, I, I like that analogy. Makes it hard to get along sometimes, but it's never dull. Combined with a frozen water sauce, water purification tablets can create drinkable water as you explore the snowy surface. Mm, I feel like they probably expected me to come here a little bit earlier, in terms of, like, item progression, maybe? There was a laser cutter fragment here. This map... Yeah, so they were talking about the SOS again. And I know about all this stuff, about how Sam loved working with the penglings because she was sending me postcards and I think we were in regular communication too. Glacial Basin Map. Oh, this is interesting. There is a bridge here. Previously explored research locations accessible via spy pangling. Okay, we... Are definitely gonna try it. There is the tower. I'm just trying to see how, like, where are we right now? Are we here? I think so. We went through a cave thingy and we're now here. Okay, definitely gotta go back and try it out. Thank god I made it and brought it today. This must have been Sam's room, but something's not right. You mean besides the, for the fact that it's completely broken? <laughs> Hi, you. How's everything at Pengling Central? Murderer. <laughs> oh, fine. But I haven't heard anything since giving the footage to Zeta. It's been, what, a week? 
Did she promise you a report? No, but I expected some kind of reaction. Maybe I should take it up with Emmanuel. It is Kara, after all, and it could cause a lot of suffering if it got out. Why would it get out? We have professional containment and know how to neutralize it in an emergency. Sam, I love you, but you don't know what you're talking about. You love me? <laughs> Wait, why do you know so much about this? It's my area of research. Why are you being evasive? <sighs> oh, I'm going to tell you something, and then you have to drop this crusade you're on before you damage your career. We're researching the bacteria. What kind of research are you doing? I don't want you worrying about this. Uh, we are aware of the possible downsides, but they're far outweighed by the potential. That's as much as I can tell you. <sighs> Sam. I, I need to think. I have to go. Okay, I think you can start to see where the rift between Sam and Danielle came from. They obviously don't agree on what to do with the bacteria. And, okay, so the whole reason behind why there's an Altera presence here right now, I think from Sam's point of view, is just that they're just doing regular research. Oh, spy penglings, blah, 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 blah. But secretly, they're looking at the bacteria. And that's part of what Omega Lab was doing, Danielle and Vin. Vin was even looking into mutations, which is even worse than just studying it, I feel like. They were trying to like actively turn it into something weaponizable, is kind of what it feels like. And why is Danielle saying she loves her and then Sam is surprised by that? Like, they never even... Is she trying to use this love as a way to, like, distract her? In any case, Sam wasn't expecting to find out that they were researching this here. That much is clear. Was Sam the only one here? Regularly? That's broken. It seems like Danielle and Vin... Oh, Zeta. Oh, Sam and Zeta. How come I can't... Oh, the name is gone. Hmm, that's weird. For some reason, it's like Sam is the only one we can't learn about. Zeta? Yes. Dr. Zeta Landon, Senior Scientist Robotics, reports to HR Guy, oversight of all robotics projects. And Sam was under her? Whoa. Hoverball. Nice. Oh. Killer bunnies versus devils. Okay. We should listen to some of this back home. It's not copyrighted, is it? I'm kind of scared. Oh, we can't even help the fish here. We can't access this one. I want to free the fish. But I can't. Oh, sorry. Cold suit. Unrivaled in protection from colder New climates. Synthesized. The cold suit is the ideal outfit for below zero conditions. Fur lined for natural heat transfer reduction. Trilaminated seals at all openings. Rated to 133.8 Kelvin. How much is that in Celsius? Self regulating interior compressor. Oh, so this is the suit I want for exploring here. The T in team, practicing mindfulness as a leader. Your team is a sponge, just waiting to soak up the energy you bring into the room. Think of yourself as a teapot, leader. You have the power to saturate your team with soothing warmth and healing. You also have the power to burn them. The key to infusing those who follow you with calm is to manage the calm within yourself first. That is the power of mindfulness in leadership, which we'll discuss further in the next chapter. But first, Let's explore another element of leadership that often goes overlooked, the steeping time. Once you've poured your healing magic over your team, 
you must wait for the oils and essences from the tea leaves to adapt to their new environment and become fragrant and fully realized. There is a power in a healing leader, but a patient healing leader is unstoppable. I'm just learning about how to be a good leader. Not a bad thing. Oh my god! Oh, this is a beautiful pattern. Look, life pod 5. Oh, this is my bed. This is the bed I want. Oh, I haven't made one yet, but I already know it's this one. That's beautiful. But again, everyone left in a hurry. Especially, like, Sam's room just seems entirely broken. Yeah, like, this is just broken. Zeta's room looks a little bit better. Oh. This whole, I mean, overall, though, this whole thing is just... Oh my god! Oh my god! Does it work? Architect Teleporter. Original speculation surrounding these alien structures posited that the gates may have been religious artifacts or industrial machines. We've read this. We need to enable two of them so that they open up. It doesn't open though. Because remember, it used to like pop out here so we can put an ion cube and power it. Maybe that's for the best. But what if someone went through it already? Look, there's power here. Like, it's green. A little green little glows. Oh. Definitely shady research going on here, Altera. Was that fiber mesh? Yep. Robin said something seems wrong when going into Sam's room. Besides for the fact that it's broken, something else. Oh, we can't even go in here. It's so damaged. Power cell charger. Didn't get this yet, but I don't really need it with the moon pool. Kitchen. Okay, hold on. Administration. Oh, <laughs> you brought a friend. Spy Pangling in training. We're recording audio, is that okay? Of course. <gasps> I have the photos you sent. Um, what am I looking at here? Kara pustules on the frozen Leviathan. That's nothing to worry about in and of itself. It's well contained. The ice sample suggests it's been frozen since the time of the outbreak. The strain made the planet uninhabitable. If it mutates... Are you feeling unsafe? Very. Uh, if I escalate this issue for you, will you feel comfortable enough to concentrate again? I have deadlines for the snow fox and the mining bots coming up. I really need your focus on the penglings. Oh, yeah. That's a relief, actually. I was expecting more of a fight. Nothing is more important than our safety. I'll take care of it, okay? Thanks. I won't let you down. <laughs> Thanks, Sam. Keep up the good work. Does her boss know about... the secret research? Well, I mean, they know that there's this frozen leviathan and the disease that's in it. Zeta seems to think it's not an issue, though, because they're focused on robotics. They don't want to care about the disease and all that. Did you see that kitty poster? They have a new one! I'm so happy! I don't know why we can't see it. Come on, they've got to show us the thumbnails. Oh, 
We've got to put one on the sea truck or something. I don't think there's room on it, though. <gasps> Alien intruder. Oh, we've got so many beautiful posters here. No. This is it. Oh! Okay, well, I've got to build this when I get back home. Yes. Oh. Who's with me? Hey, guys. I'm so glad you're here. Where else would I be? Like I'd miss Fred being exposed as the alien intruder. <laughs> That's not gonna happen. But you didn't say you were not the intruder. No, not this argument again. I beg you. I think the game will settle this debate. <sighs> so, I just want to ask you something quick before Zeta gets back and we start playing. It's about the cavern. With the frozen Leviathan, I investigated and... You I investigated? <laughs> when? I didn't see you. Maybe you were asleep or busy doodling inappropriate sea creatures. Those drawings are art. Anyway, I've looked into it, and I think we have reason to be concerned. It wasn't that long ago this planet was uninhabitable. But if we work together, we can get them to put an end to the Corral mutation experiments. Uh, I, I, I'm, I'm not comfortable with this. Samantha, you're paranoid. Come on now, you're Sam out. She has her safety at heart. And the rest of us don't? Zeta! <sighs> Can we play the game now? Fine. This is after Sam's finding out that they're researching mutations related to the bacteria here, but nobody else seems to care. They're just like, ah, well, you know, we're researchers and it'll be fine, it'll be safe. Where is... Okay, we... From Marguerite, we learn that Sam probably went to, like, destroy the cave, the frozen Leviathan cave. We don't have an indication of where this cave is yet. We just know it exists somewhere. It's fine, because we can look around and keep looking into this. Um, Everyone's brushing off Sam. This is not good. It's not good. Okay, well, I think we should probably go back to the sea truck, get my spy pangling, and then explore whatever's beyond that spy pangling place. How does that sound? Oh! Wow, the daylight's still with me. Oh my goodness, look! The aurora again! But it took me a full day to walk back all the way to my sea truck, and I went back to my base just now, too, because I wanted to pick up the Creepvine Sea Clusters for the Hydraulic Fluid and the Gel Sack. Figured I'd just get it done since we were going back anyway. We will probably look at the Spy Pangling stuff and then go back to the bridge. How does that sound? Oh wow, it disappeared already. That was fast. Mmm, it's snowing really hard. I can't really just stand around in the middle of nowhere. Oh! Didn't even get this earlier. It's honestly a little bit too dark for me to even see anything right now. I'm not sure if doing anything at a time like this is good, but we'll we'll make do. Last time we went to five robotics in one direction. I'm thinking of going in another direction here. Hey, where's the geyser? I need a geyser somewhere, man. It's getting cold. Oh, okay, it's water here. Yeah, honestly, it's just so cold right now, I can't even see. Cold and dark. Thank you. Thank you. I think if we keep going forward, we'll eventually wrap back around at 5 Robotics anyway. But it'll be nice for us to uh, go a slightly different direction, maybe. Oh! Oh jeez, okay, you know what? <laughs> that was just water. No, it's it's just too dark right now. A little bit scary. I actually feel a little bit more at home in the water in the dark. Maybe because on land, you can only go around in one specific direction. We can't go down. There's not as many escape routes. And more importantly, I can't use a sea glide here. So if I do run into something scary, then I can't really escape anywhere, can I? There's not really that many options for me. Oh, this is new. Marbled anemone. 
These terrestrial anemones are sustained via a commensal relationship with small clusters of fungi that feed off the anemone slimy secretions. Can I have this? No. Whoa, we didn't see this earlier. Iced stalagmite. Hey, we had this question before, back in the first one. Hey, what's a stalactite? What's a stalagmite? There you go. Hey, that's a Pathfinder tool in the back, right? One sec. These ice stalagmites are inhabited by extremophilic bacteria capable of surviving and reproducing in freezing temperatures. This is possible thanks to antifreeze agents secreted by the bacteria, which keeps the cell environment in liquid state and prevents destructive ice crystal formation within. This is filed under oh, geological data. It's not really alive, but... I wonder if we can use a laser cutter on this. Should I try? I mean, I don't think it'll work, but... Science, right? Mmm, it's inside my locker. No! At least I hope it's inside my locker. It is. No, nothing happens. That's the end of that. Maybe this is trying to lead me to where Phi Robotics is. Oh. Another location for me to find the Pathfinder tool? A little bit strange, huh? Because the things directly point to where the tool is. Yeah, just judging by the equipment we're getting here. Get the impression that maybe we were supposed to... Uh, they expected me to come here a lot earlier. But I was spending so much time in the water because... Water is all I've always known. Daytime again, perfect. Okay, alright. Now we're back here. I don't Dangerous actually... Weather approaching. Seek shelter. Mm, I don't know how the spy pangling thing works, but I think we'll have time to figure it out because there's a geyser right next to this place here. Yeah, as long as I'm standing here. So, what do I do? I just... drop it? And then I have a remote control on me? Tool for driving spy penglings. Oh! Hi! Uh, is it okay if I stand here? Oh, I'm so dumb. Earlier I went home, but I didn't even think of making the cold suit. Like, I didn't look at my formulas at all. Whoops. Probably would've helped me out here. Oh, but I- no, actually never mind, because we don't have snow stalker fur. Ooh, okay, this means we're gonna have to run into a snow stalker first. And get its fur? How? Ooh, okay, well... I think we'll be okay, as long as we're standing next to this. I'm just thinking about how, if we control this thing, we're probably gonna be unprotected just in the cold for a while, which... is not ideal. Uh, how far can I control this from? Because maybe I can stand inside the robotic center and control this. It mentioned it before, I know it did. It said something about the actual amount of... meters this can be done from. 80 meters away, atmosphere dependent. Okay, whatever, we'll just... Uh... Oh. I can self-destruct. Companionship level, infiltration value. Ah, mainly for interacting with other spy penglings. Altera Super Penguin Buddy. Oh! Hey, me! Hi! Okay, I hope I'm okay. Because I can't really tell if I'm doing okay outside. Ah, I can pick stuff up. Magnetite. But I only have four slots, so I should avoid trying to pick up too much random stuff. Okay. Can I climb up? Yes, I can. Ooh, but I think this cave in particular isn't too interesting. It's just a test sort of cave. Maybe we gotta look at the map we got earlier for more interesting stuff. Ow. 
He <laughs> pretending to be a pingling? A pingwing. No, this is a really small map. That's it. Hi, you doing okay? Ooh. I was dying a little bit, but uh this probably would have kept me okay. Okay. Um cool, but not really what I was after here. Let's take a look at the map again. Right, so this is the teleporter, which means this is the five robotics lab, which means we're probably standing something like here right now. And if we keep going beyond here, there are different spots. Namely, there's some kind of like um, a little lake here, and there's also another tower. So I guess that's where we should be heading off to. Oh, I gotta pick you up. <laughs> Nearly left you here. Now that we know we're gonna have the potential of seeing snow stalkers around, I'm a little bit nervous. It is what it is. I don't know what I'll do. Oh! Oh shoot! It mentioned something about how if I had a bright light or something, it would help me get away, right? But I don't think I have a flare on me. Is that gonna be okay? Let me just make sure, because we really can't even- we don't have a sea glide here. There's very little we can do if we run into something scary. Just hope that it doesn't run that fast. Uh, what am I looking at? Research. It's a carnivore, right? Apex predators in their biomes. They come in packs. But will enter water to hunt in the vent territory. Avoid them. If entering Snowstalker territory is necessary, sources of bright light and unpredictable noises have been shown to deter attacks. Noises? Unpredictable noises? How do I do that? Sources of bright light. Yeah, I didn't think that far ahead. I don't have any... I have a flashlight. But I feel like that's not the sort of light they're thinking about. Mm, anything in my locker to help me? Propulsion cannon? It's probably a little bit too... heavy. Okay, well, if we see one, we're just gonna have to know what to do, okay? Just chill out and figure it out. <laughs> On the fly. Okie dokie. So that was the five robotic center, and now we're going... Oh. Okay, this is their beacon. The landing pad. Landing pad for what? Like a helicopter? Doesn't- it's not in the water, so it's not a... water vehicle. Hold on. I- I came from this way earlier. Right. So now I'm going here. Is it icy here? Yeah, it is icy, but I'm not slipping. I think we're rapidly freezing, though. I'm not sure if this is a good idea. This little cave. Oh no. Oh no. I don't have a good, uh, I don't have a good feeling about this. Oh, it's right there! Okay, if it's right here, I'm going to provoke it on purpose, because I want to see... Like, I'd rather provoke it now, than have it come up on me later on. Oh my god! Ah! Ah! Oh my god. Okay, the bite didn't hurt. The bite was only a little bit, but I, uh, I would prefer not having that happen. <laughs> Especially while we're worrying about the cold, too. Mm, what do I do then? Avoid. I don't have a light. I don't think it reacted to the flashlight at all. It's gotta be the flare, or maybe like a light stick or something. A light stick? 
Oh no, are we just not ready to move on then? Low level lighting, so no, this wouldn't work. It's the billion flares I got back from wherever I got them from. Yeah, okay, you know what? Um change of plans. Weather approaching. Seek shelter. Why don't we go back the way where the bridge was? I'm gonna go past the bridge and then on the way back, I'm pretty sure I at least had one flare back on the Nemo. Would that be cool? Because I don't feel very comfortable going over and challenging the Snowstalkers right now. If we had a Snow Fox, it'll be easier. But we only have two fragments right now. We don't have the full thing yet. And I'm pretty sure we didn't have enough for the full thing. We also have to make the Snow Fox hover pad and all this. Beds, fridges. The fridge isn't gonna help me. Yeah, we need one more. One more. I assume, like, I'm just assuming that the flare is what we need here. I don't actually know for sure. And was there a scannable thing just now, or was that a beacon flashing somewhere? It's gonna eat a whole bunch. Hmm. Scary bite, and we absolutely cannot outrun it. I think we've proven that much. But we have to go near, though, because that map was saying that there was something interesting with the spy penglings. So either I come back after I find a way to move forward, or I don't know. We'll have a think after we go past the bridge. How about that? If there was going to be snowstalkers across the bridge, then I don't know what I'm going to do. 